What's up guys? Back with another video. It's been about three months. Yeah. Five months. And we have a big announcement for y'all. You want to tell them or you want me to tell them? You can tell them. We are having a little one. We just found out probably two months ago. Two months ago, you think? Mm -hmm. You want to tell them the symptoms? Sure. So, um, it was about six weeks when I started noticing that I was really nauseous. I was throwing up in the mornings. I couldn't, you know, hold food down. I didn't want to eat anything. Nothing sounded good. Nothing <laughs> tasted good. And that's when I took a pregnancy test. And um, I didn't record his like the surprise because we it was so new to us and it was nerve wracking. Yeah, okay. And um, she's. Well, that was 14 weeks in one day, but that was a week ago, so now she's 15 weeks yeah. in one day. And we have another appointment. Y'all are going to be watching this on the... Sorry. 24th. 24th, and we have another appointment tomorrow, the 25th. We'll keep so scared. We'll keep y'all updated. We're going to be going to do an OBGYN. Definitely let you know how that goes, and hopefully you can talk me through it. <laughs> Help me out. Um, so any other like first time others you know have like if they're watching this video like comment down in the section yeah make me feel better about delivery since I'm terrified of you know epidural you know what did you go through what did you get um, how did you get through it Cause obviously it's terrifying and I mean it's a happy thing because you're growing a life inside of you but it's terrifying because now you're sharing your body with something else and you know, you just want to make all the best decisions. And, and something else is going about seven pounds, too. Hopefully, Hopefully. seven or six. <laughs> I'm not hitting the eight, nine, or ten. I'm only five feet tall. But we just want to let y'all know. Um, that that's know. kind of why, you know, we took a break again. We're, we're going to try better this time. We're going to try better. I um, said that last time, but we promised this time. Yes, we said. Yeah, we promised said last, it this time. We said last time. Stamp it. Damp it. I mean, everything's been really well so far. Besides the throwing up, it was really bad. She was waking up. I work overnight, so every day I, that I got home around 7 a.m., she would literally just jump up out of bed and just go throw up, like, out of nowhere, two mm -hmm. or three times. It was awful, yellow, mm -hmm. like, felt like acid was coming up my throat, and I knew that something obviously wasn't right. And that's when I took multiple pregnancy tests, and... We have our answer. And then we also got one done at the women's clinic, of course, which we figured she was, it was the pregnancy test that we bought were accurate, but mm -hmm. just to be on the safe side, we definitely went again. And for 15 weeks and yeah. two days are in enough. Even the dollar ones work pretty well. That's the, ones we, <laughs> that's the ones we got, and we got, that's why we got a couple of them to make sure that it was. I wish I would have brought it in here to show them, but I can put a picture in mm -hmm. of the positive result. My reaction was the normal, uh, I guess I guess you want to say normal, but, you know, when you first see it, it's it's really nerve-wracking. You feel like it's not real. We still don't feel like it's real, you know. But um, we're going to get through it. We're happy. I'm happy. I know she's happy. We didn't think we could have kids. No, so. we didn't. I mean, we've been together for five years, and if something like that would have happened, we think that it would have happened a lot earlier. But everything happens for a reason, and I guess now is our time. So let's just hope and pray that everything goes well for the next five and a half months, and my delivery That's is crazy. nice and easy. It's already been three and a half months. Time flies. Oh, and let me know like what kind of um, like oils or lotion that you use to prevent stretch marks and scarring. She's so stressed out about the I'm so marks, young, right? I just feel like like that's such a big deal now today in society. But I mean if it happens it happens. Ep the uh, epidural. She's nervous about that. I'm trying to get her to push through with it. I mean my mom and my sister both had terrible experiences with the epidural, you know, being in the wrong spot or like leaking fluid. I'm not exactly sure, but it was just awful to, and then C-sections versus, you know, natural births, water births, there's just so many things. 
So I hope you stay tuned um, for the rest of the nine months and even after that, because we'll be here. Um, we'll yeah. keep you updated as we go. Um, Just let us know if you want to know anything or, you know, um, more symptoms that I get as we get further along or any videos that you think would be funny to do while pregnant. Also emotional. She's Stop. Emotional sometimes. Stop. Emotional sometimes. Or Wait. funny things too. Mm -hmm. yeah, like Bella would be really cute and like lay down or something. And I got her a cute little um, doggy sweater for a chihuahua. And then I remembered that she's a chihuahua. So I put it on her and it was only like this. It's dirty. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. And it only covered like half her body and the other half was just like left hanging out. And it was so cute. And I just started crying and it was cute. Bella. Yeah. She's in our other videos if y'all want to see what she looks like. If y'all are new to the new to the channel. It's a big announcement for us. We were just letting y'all get y'all up to date for our hundred subscribers that we have. <laughs> hundred and twenty-three. Yeah, something like that. And I think that's gonna wrap up our video. Don't forget that we will be posting probably sometime this week again. Yep. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned.